I'd like to show you how you can solve a problem in 10 minutes. Sounds a bit crazy, I know, but images are crucial in creativity, and this is what we're going to use in order to solve that problem. I also have asked today a special translator, an interpreter, if you like, to translate this talk live. So he's got 15 minutes to translate into images everything I'm going to be saying here. It's probably hating me right now because it's quite a challenge. So creativity and images, what is this about? The thing is, when you look at images, it triggers connections in your brain, opening fresh path to new solutions. So images can really trigger connections, can really help you then solve problems and especially find innovative solutions. So let's try this. What do you think about when you look at this picture here? You certainly have some words that come to your mind. I'm going to ask you to shout out these words. Muscles. Suffering. 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 Muscles. Power. Power. So already we've got a lot of different connections happening here. This is exactly what we, we're going to be working on today. So I'm going to ask you to pick a problem, any kind of problem you'd like to solve. I'm going to show you some pictures, totally random pictures. And with these connections, uh, with these keywords that are going to come to mind, you'll probably find solutions you've never thought of before. So. If you train your creativity muscle, you can become as fit as this guy, but of course in your head. So we're not going to be using this horrible uh, torture tool here. We'll be using images as gym equipment. Are you willing to do that? Yes. So let's just um, talk a little bit about how it's going to work. The method we're going to be using is called forced associations. It's a method used in design thinking whereby you associate two very different things together. Take your problem, associate it with a random picture or a random concept, and you can create something new, something interesting. For example, by associating a glass and a cookie, well, an edible glass was created which is very ecological and very useful right now. Another example is by associating a plant with clothing. Well, do you know what was invented? The Velcro was invented. So this is how we're going to be working. Does that make sense to you? Forced associations, yeah, OK. So what I'd like us to do in order to warm up our creativity muscle Starting with a Lego block and a rabbit, we're going to do a little forced association exercise for you to really understand how we're going to be working here. I'm going to first ask you to x-ray uh, the rabbit. When I, do, when I say x-ray, I mean list all the keywords that are associated with this rabbit. So again, you don't need to think too much. Just shout out the words that come to mind when you look at a rabbit? Speed, carrot, ears, fur, cartoon, comics, Roger Rabbit, fluffy, great. So if we take one of these keywords, someone just said fluffy here, um, could we create a new Lego product? For example, a fluffy Lego? Uh, you know, one that wouldn't hurt your foot when you actually step on it? Um, so again, other ideas, if you associate the keyword you just said with a Lego block, can you create a new product? Do you want to shout out some, some ideas? Inflatable block? 
inflatable, inflatable Lego blocks. That's great. Another idea? Carrot Lego to encourage children to eat carrots. That's great. Anything else? Lego chocolates. Chocolate Lego, fabulous. Easter chocolate, chocolate Lego. So you see, in two seconds here, we already have three new Lego products that might make the, make the buzz tomorrow. So this is really fabulous. Now, I'm going to ask you to take your fitness book. So you all got a fitness book and a pen. Inside this fitness book, you're going to be able to follow all the different exercises I'm going to ask you to do in order to find your super solution to your problem. So first we need to do to define the problem. So what is the problem you'd like to solve today? Think about a problem that is realistic, don't make it too complicated, make it very clear. For example, how can I get my husband to cook? That's just an example, real life. Um, so problem, how can I, you see the arrow there, I'm going to ask you to turn your problem into a question. Write it down in your fitness book. So how can I make my company grow? You have 30 seconds because again, it's a sort of a creativity fitness we're doing here. So I'm going to pressurize you, uh, pressurize you a bit for time. So 30 seconds, write your question. Think about something you really want to solve. Could be business related, could be day to day related. How can I find parking space in my street when I come after seven, real life too. How can I maximize my days so I can have free time to develop personal projects? My, my problem is I can't lose weight. As How do I feel secure in my long distance relationships? How can I make a career change at 55 without losing my income? Solution. Um, is everybody done writing down? Yes? Okay, great. So the next step I'm going to ask you to do under obvious solutions there is to write three obvious solutions. So the three solutions that are not creative at all, the three solutions you sort of think about straight away. You look at your question and you think, okay, how can I get my husband to cook, for example? One, I can buy him a cooking book. Two, I can register him into cooking classes. Three, I can get a divorce. These are my three obvious solutions right now. It's just obvious. It doesn't really require any creativity here. Okay, so carrying on, we're going to go over my second exercise. Now we're trying to associate pictures with your problem in order to find fresh and innovative solutions. This is our first association exercise starting here. I'm going to ask you to pick a hero, someone you like, someone you admire. If you don't see anyone on this picture that inspire you, you can find someone else in your head, that's fine. And I'm going to ask you to x-ray again. Um, again, it's in your fitness book. You're going to see hero. It's the exercise B. And under hero, you've got an x-ray list and you have the three solutions next to it. So I'm going to ask you to write the keywords um, for that person that you have chosen, the, the hero. So some characteristics, it might be perseverance, it might be risk-taking, it might be um, happiness or fun, um, whatever you think this person represents. So you're going to write it down in your fitness book. And then what we'll do, we'll try to mix one of these keywords and see how would this person solve your problem. Taking all these characteristics, how would she or he solve your problem? And write three fresh new solutions next to your keywords.
40 seconds left, so maybe you want to go uh, over to your second solutions, maybe even your third. How would this person solve your problem? What would he or she say to you? And one and stop. I'm going to ask you to stop here, clear your mind. We're going to go to a second picture. So I'm, I just need you to forget all these keywords, all these heroes right now, and go over to a second picture, which is totally different. This is a boat, as you can see. And again, I'm going to ask you to x ray that boat. So, to list all these keywords, again, is it about freedom, is it about holidays, is it about moving, movable, motion, and again, to find three new solutions inspired by these keywords, by these keywords about this picture. Hoping that you will find, again, three fresh solutions that are very different from the one you just found for your hero. And again, you have a minute and a half. Go. Twenty seconds. <coughs> and zero. Okay, stop. Again, clear your mind, forget everything about the boat and your keywords. We're going to now look at another picture, totally different. This is an artwork, land art. And again, I'm going to ask you to x-ray that picture, find your keywords. What do you feel? What do you think when you look at this picture? Is it about balance? Is it about colors, open space? What could this picture tell you in terms of new solutions? What could this artwork inspire you in terms of new, fresh solutions? Something totally new that is not related to the boat picture. And again, I'm going to ask you to find three new solutions inspired by your keywords. You have a minute and a half. <laughs> Fifty seconds. seconds so maybe you want to go finalize your solutions here don't think too much try to get three new solutions okay and stop now I'm gonna ask you to read through all your different solutions and to circle your favorite one the one you really feel most excited about. The one you really want to make happen. So, very quickly, read through your solutions, circle your favorite one. Okay, great. You've been awesome, you have worked a lot, you've probably sweat a little bit. So now we're going to do a bit of stretching. And 
I'm going to ask you to think about the solution you have chosen and circled and to create an action plan in order to implement this solution, to make it happen. So we're going to stretch our mind to tomorrow. Then I'm going to ask you to stretch a little further to one week. So what should you be doing tomorrow as a baby step to make this solution happen? What should you be doing by a week? What you should you be doing by a month and by a year? How would that solution look like? So at the end of your booklet, you have a stretching um, picture. It's called stretching, so I think it's pretty clear. And you can write down your action plan. Okay, let's go. Let's have 10 seconds. Write your action plan. Go. Now for my action plan, tomorrow I will run in a gym club and try to train several times a week. So for tomorrow, I will touch base with people I need to contact. In a week... One year, recognition of changes in my job description by leadership and colleagues and development of new responsibilities. Everybody's done with their action plan? Okay, well, you've been brilliant. Um, I do hope that you guys have found an interesting solution. I do hope that you have maybe amazed yourself and surprised yourself. You might have to work a little bit more on your solutions or on your problem, on your action plan. But the bottom line is creativity is a muscle. Exercise it every day. You've been brilliant. Thank you very much.